just save me time. And, right. uh, okay. Time is of the essence. Get no, no, not yet. Okay. Hey, so it, uh, it, it's. Uh, we just go down this way and follow the path. Yeah. The I mean, this this stretch runs about three and a half miles, and it starts getting narrower up the uh, launch area. This is one of the prettiest launches. How this river sort of is serpentine and going forward before you get into too tight of conditions and you have to turn around. You're going to come to an island that is uh, a marsh type island. In the middle you can go along either side because it continues, the river continues on the other side. Uh, about a mile and a half up you will come to the tip of that island and there'll be an opening on the left with an oak tree and a rope swing. Um, so Claire you can hop out and go swimming or do whatever you want to do or just eat lunch or whatever you want to do. So pull over. But this is really, we're very proud of it. It's really one of the prettiest launch areas in West Michigan. This is called a sub-emergent marsh. Uh, and that means that all the growth uh, of the river comes in the river, comes from the bottom of the river. And what's amazing, when you're out there, you should paddle through those lily pads because there are three things to observe. One is those little buds just are geometric. It's almost like they're made in a CAD CAM design open them up, it's incredible how attractive they are. Secondly, they start by a seed at the bottom of the river, and how it ever finds its way to the surface, who knows. If you pull up the stems, they're all like a bunch of straws put together, which is how they feed off the bottom of the river. And um, what happens to the leaf, it emerges to the top, and it's the reason it floats is it's waterproof. If you threw water on it, be just like putting it on the hood of your car it bubbles up and um, to me that's an amazing thing so this is an example of a sub-emergent marsh the other rivers and many of the other rivers in western Michigan here are high bank rivers that have trees coming right to the edge of the water and that's why we did such a big logging business to supply log uh, lumber to after the Chicago fire of 1876 right to your hometown clear back to Chicago West Michigan rebuilt Chicago. So, go down there. This is a shallow river. You should wear your your PFDs and your life preservers. Uh, when you get up to the top, come back. You can see there's almost no current, but it is going to our left out into Lake Michigan. This is Paul up here fishing, fishing the bridge. He uh, catches bass and pike up there. Paul, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So Steve, I'm sorry, any other questions? So we go up to that island where the rope swing is, we turn around and we come back. Well, no, I'm or sorry, no. you should, okay. it, depending upon your time, every 